And at 407, more on what we're all feeling, the cold air. It is here, and so is Betsy Kling to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, the chill in the air actually kind of feels refreshing. I have bit. to be honest, I made a big pot of chili today. It's uh, still bubbling away in the crock pot right now. So kids are going to have some chili back for dinner tonight. And it's just kind of that feel, right? Temperatures are currently in the 50s and uh, kind of feeling cooler than that across much of northern Ohio, thanks to the westerly wind that we have. That west wind is also driving some lake effect rain showers. It's all downwind of the lake, so the wind is always pointing to where that lake rain will be falling. And areas downwind of the lake, uh, that's where that rain comes in. You can see there's a pretty decent band that's been offshore of Cleveland through the day today. Starting to see that wobble just a little bit farther to the south, so persistent rain showers throughout areas of eastern Cuyahoga, Geauga, northern, northern Geauga, Lake County, and then into Ashtabula County, too. Too. This will likely continue for the next couple of hours. Meanwhile, farther south where we have clearing taking place, we have frost potential tonight. Richland, Ashland, Wayne, Holmes, Tuscarawas, and Carroll counties. That's through early tomorrow morning. Uh, coming up in your forecast uh, for the next four hours, it's not too bad. Temperatures holding here in the 50s, but by the time the sun sets, we're going to be cooling quickly. We'll be in the upper 40s at 9 p.m. under partly cloudy skies. Areas farther south will likely fall back into the mid 40s. And as far as tonight goes, those frost advisories are most prevalent across the southern counties, but that doesn't mean all of us are out of the woods. We'll also talk about warmer temperatures that come back at us midweek. And yes, there is more rain that is likely in the weekend ahead. I'll have details on that coming up. All right, we'll take it, I guess. Betsy, yep. thanks.